Isaiah chapter 47 verse 1 Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Before I get on, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim El Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh Bashim El Shai, Brakatham. To those of you that are worshiping Yahweh, in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in all truth and sincerity. All right. And this is just a real quick, um, you know, I saw this video. I'm going to play it out um, almost towards the end, you know, and, um, um, you know, get a few precepts and laws what this is edifying, but going into how America losing its power, which because the title says real risk, the U.S. will will lose its place as the world superpower. But America has been lost its place um, concerning it being the world superpower. All right. You know, um, this place has been circling the drain. All right. It's been going downhill. Um, and as it tells you in the book of Jeremiah, there is no um, healing agent for her room, you know, basically meaning there's no recovery for America, Babylon the Great, all right, thus save the Lord, um, so without further ado, I'm just, I'm going to play this video, and uh, again, get get some precepts, and Lord's will, this is edifying. Your White House advisor and founder of America First Legal, um, well, you would. You've been in national security meetings. I went to them for three years. Look, here's the thing. All of a sudden, the rhetoric out of the White House has changed, okay? You know, they've been bluffing and bluffing and bluffing and bluffing. They opposed Ted Cruz's amendment to restore the uh, sanctions um, on the pipeline, which they was a gift to Putin in the first place. Now they're saying... Um, a false flag operation in the Ukraine. Russia will move God knows how many troops in. Maybe only the eastern part, not the whole country. But so what? That's a big deal. And I'm just trying to figure out what are we preparing for here? We've changed our rhetoric. Uh, now they're saying mid-January to mid-February. They never acknowledged that before, Steve Miller. This to me is not confidence inspiring. So pretty much, man. <laughs> America, um, all they've been doing is talking shit, you know, uh, and, you know, basically bluffing, like you said, all right, and, you know, America's pretty much afraid right now, because, again, they are not the big bat bully on the block anymore, all right, <laughs> you know, but they're still acting as if they are. Like I said, this is why they're 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 you know talking crazy, you know, um, and people are calling calling her out, man. People are calling America out on on, on its bullshit now, and even more so now, where um, these nations that America is allied to, right, such as Taiwan and um, the Ukraine, the question is being po uh, posed. Is America going to actually step in to defend these nations if they get invaded? Right. <laughs> you know, and it's, um, you know, people are people are are unsure because, you know, um, like I said, man, pretty much America, they're they're, they're just not what they they're, they're, they're just not the big bad bull in the block anymore. And, you know. Because America has to keep re reassuring these nations that they're going to basically have their back. And these nations, due to the fact that America is or it has been losing its status as a world superpower, these nations, you know, um, they, they don't really trust America, which is prophesied in the book of Obadiah. Right. <laughs> you know, eventually all these nations that are allied to America, eventually they're going to shoot the missiles on America. All right. But as of right now, the nations that, like I said, are allied to or conducting business with America, Babylon the Great, um, you know, they're pretty much worried, and they should be, right? And Lord knows we do not need another foreign policy catastrophe after what Afghanistan has done to us. Well, there's a very real risk that the United States will lose its mantle as the world's superpower if other countries continue realizing that they can buck us, that they can provoke us, they can do whatever they want, and there'll be no repercussions.
aggressions. But let's go back to a core principle here. Strength deters aggression. Weakness invites aggression. President Trump was the first president in decades under whose presidency there were no new wars because he took a strong position from the beginning. He made it clear he was willing to use military force if necessary, and he rebuilt the United States military. Russia didn't dare expand its territorial ambitions. The last time they did that, who was in the White House as vice president? It was Joe Biden in 2014, and history has a way of repeating itself. The world has taken the measure of the man, and Afghanistan, of course, is the precipitating event here, and realize that we have an empty suit in 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. That's it. Now, I'll be clear. I so, again, just to, in a nutshell, um, which, like I said, America has been losing. It's, it's been going downhill, and... Real quick, I'm gonna get this. I brought it out in the previous lesson, um, some a couple of weeks ago, but I bring it out again just for edification's sake. Because in the book of Ob Obadiah, <laughs> in the book of Obadiah, which I challenge a lot of you so called Christians, all right, because the real Christians are Israelites, all right, <laughs> the real Hamashiachans, so to say. Um, or the real followers of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, all right? <laughs> but I always challenge you so-called Christians to uh, read, this, read the book of Obadiah, all right? This is something that the church, the churches, they stay away from altogether, you know? <laughs> you know, uh, after a street, after a, a street, a recent street teaching that I did, um, you know, I had, a, um, <laughs> I had some people come up after the, you know, after I stopped recording, you know, you, we were uh, talking and whatnot, and um, you know, I mentioned about this book of Obadiah, and they they never even heard about it. You know, they they never heard about this book. You know, and I, like I said, because I challenge, I be challenging Christians. You know, and I, I challenge them to read this book. You know, because you know they came on the, you know, they believe God loves everyone and so on and so forth. Well, you know, uh, two things, um, the book of o Obadiah, right? And um, I, I also challenge Christians to read the Romans, the ninth chapter. All right. Because the common question posed it, it, it being that if God loved everyone, then why would he create everyone? You know, that's one of the most common questions that these Christians that they ask, you know, and, you know, um, we all have a purpose. All right. And for the purpose of the so-called Esau, or excuse me, for the so-called white man, all right, Esau, Edom, um, you can read about that in the book of Roman, Romans, the ninth chapter, you know, <laughs> those vessels created for honor and vessels created for dishonor. All right. Um, but that's two, two, two things. I always, I often challenge Christians, you know, read the uh, Romans, the ninth chapter and read the book of Obadiah because it talks about the complete annihilation of a race of people. All right. This, this book is dedicated just for Esau, Edom. <laughs> all right. Um, but just a quick, quick, quick point in, in the book of Obadiah, like I said, I, I brought you know, a lot of Christians, they don't even know this book exists, but, um, the book of Obadiah, one chapter, I'm going to start at verse four. It says, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. And which that that's spiritual in itself because um I saw something where <clears throat> pretty much um see if I can look it up real quick. <clears throat> Just bear with me real quick. Going into this eagle, all right, which is this is the symbol of America, Babylon the Great. Just real quick. I guess I don't have it saved up.
No, I don't have it saved up, but um, <laughs> basically, um, going into the eagle, which, like I said, that's pretty much America's symbol. All right, um, it's losing what it represents. As from you know, the, going into this eagle, it's it's uh, uh losing its um symbolism, so to say. You know, and what this what this whole place represents all right you know because again america is going downhill man and it's been going downhill ever since i'm gonna read this again obadiah the fourth chapter though thou exalt thyself as an eagle and though thou set thy nest among the stars thence will i bring thee down saith yahweh all right so as far as them um you know exalting themselves and, and you know um that 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 nest amongst the stars basically going into um, that time period when they were, you know, uh, sending them satellites in, into outer space and, and searching out the heavens and things of that nature. And, you know, um, they, they put the whole thing where, you know, man go to the moon, which man never went to the moon because man, these bodies that can't even get past the Van Allen belt. All right. You know, they can't get past all that radiation. So that was a lie. But nevertheless, during this whole time period, all right, this was pretty much the height of America. All right, she was at her, you know, the 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 height of her, you know, uh, she was she was at the climax. Well, ever since then, she's been going downhill, and that's why I'm reading. Read on. It says, "And though thou would set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, save your howl." All right, so ever since then, that's when America has been going downhill. But people don't really know that because, you know, you're still able to go out and you know party hardy and whatever the case may be. All right, <laughs> you know, um. Because, you know, it's a bunch of distractions out here and, you know, people just they, they think that things are, you know, good and whatnot. Well, America's been circling the joint. This place has been going downhill. All right. And now it's to the point where, like I said, America, even though she's trying to flex like she's, the you know, the, the, the big bad bully in the block, she's not. All right. Because now all these other nations, they're they're basically calling America's bluff. All right. <laughs> You know, and, 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 and you know, they, they're calling America out and people are finding this place out to be weak because, as they said, you know, um, pretty much ever since Biden got an office, man, it, uh, America's gotten weak. All right. America's, you know, uh, the, the military's gotten weak. The, the, this whole country has gotten weak ever since Biden got into office because, like they said, like they brought it out, you know, a lot of these places like Russia and China, they weren't pulling some of these. They weren't pulling a lot of the things that they were doing when Trump was in office. But ever since Biden got in the office, hey, man, you know, these these nations, man, they've been ramping up on the, the, the military arsenals, stacking up on missiles, so on and so forth, you know. So I'm going to uh, continue to play some more. I don't want American troops to go to the Ukraine. I'll be very clear on that. We have NATO commitments, and those things can be moved around. But I, I'm not talking about putting American troops uh, into war, but... Uh, I think, Steve, we have to do it. In other words, um, taking Russia out of the dollar-based financial system, that is something we could do. It's been done before. It was done in Iran, by the way, with considerable success, not the only place. Going after the oligarchs, that's kind of, I don't know, blah, 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 blah. Um, Ted Cruz, you know, the White House should have backed Ted Cruz's amendment to restore the Nord Stream 2 sanctions. Um, any energy, you know, any natural resource. In other words... I'm hearing Madam Saki say there's a threat here between mid-January and mid-February that Russia will invade for whatever reason. Steve Miller, what I'm not hearing is precisely what and how quickly we will do about it. Yes, and again, they're, they're proceeding down this path because they know they'll be able to get away with it with this current administration in charge. But let's also take a look at the decision on Nord Stream 2. I mean, this is the clearest example you're going to see. They provided Russia with huge, unparalleled economic leverage. And now they're using the filibuster, which I'm told, Larry, is racist and segregationist, to block Ted Cruz's bill, doing a favor for Russia. So the foreign policy here is inexplicable. Apparently, they're only concerned about Russia when Donald Trump is in office, and then only in the context of the Russia hoax. I'd also make the point that I 
Right in the recent news report, I'm sure you've seen it too, the United States is thinking of scaling back unilaterally our own nuclear program. Right. I mean, this is, this is unheard of. Russia's building up its arsenal. China's building up its arsenal. North Korea's building up its arsenal. Iran's trying to go nuclear. And here we are, we're going to unilaterally disarm this mindset provokes aggression and creates instability the world over. Remember, right after Biden came in, what happened? Hamas attacked Israel. That's not a coincidence, Larry. The world knew that the United States was returning to a posture of weakness. I, like you, I don't want any American troops anywhere near Ukraine. This has nothing to do with that. This has to do with respect for the United States. When Donald Trump was in office, other countries knew what the boundary lines were and didn't even have to think about crossing them. And therefore, there was a lower chance of having to use American military yeah. force. You have someone weak in the White House, and there's a greater chance of war and conflict and instability around the world. Couldn't agree more. Look, I learned it. So, yeah, man. Um, here it is. America, because America, they don't want to go to war. You know, but hey, Russia and China and these other nations, man, they're they're stacking up on arsenals, man, start stacking up on missiles. They're doing backdoor deals, performing war drills. Right. And again, they're calling America out, man, because, hey, America's been exposed. This place is weak, you know, um, which that was another um, that was a, 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 a which is this is an indicator letting you know that America is not more. But the, but the, a, a, a revised Roman Empire, because. One of the down, uh, one of the the signifiers of the Roman Empire going down was the fact that um, they spread their military too thin. You know, they spread their military out, and that's the same thing America's doing. All right, but like I said, with Taiwan and and the Ukraine, let's say let's let's say uh, Russia and Ukraine, or excuse me, Russia and China invaded uh, the Ukraine and Taiwan at the same time. You know. Again, being an America backs both these countries, um, you know, that 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 wouldn't really be, you know, because, again, America is going to have to spread its military out, you know, spread the military thin. You see, so, you know, they probably probably won't have enough troops, you know, because I also saw something about how because nobody wants to join the military, you know, nobody wants to join America's military. And I saw I saw something about how they're basically willing to pay people to join the uh, you know to, to to get up in there you know, um, and you know with that being said on another note because you can expect the draft to come soon all right, you know a forced draft all right, but nevertheless man um, yeah man America you know um is being exposed all right they don't want to go to war especially with China and Russia all right. But hey, Russia and China, they, they're like, let, hey, let, you know, bring it. You know, I just saw something where Russia is basically talking about how they're tired of they're, they're tired of dealing with uh, America, man. You know, they get they're losing patience with America, you know. And again, the question is, uh, is, is has been posed and still being posed. What is America going to do if these countries, in fact, do uh, uh, invade these nations, man, that America backs? Because, again, even in the uh, uh, um the nations that are allied to America, they, you know, because pretty much America is a laughing stock right now. You know, everyone, like I said, this place has been exposed. All right. Everyone knows this place is weak. And this is why these nations are doing what they do because they know they can get away with it because they know that America is not going to do nothing about it. Like I said, the fact that, you know, despite the fact that America's talking all this shit and, and still flexing this muscle like it's a big bad bull in the block. Well, everyone's flexing their muscle now. So, hey, you know, um, hey. You know, I'm going to go ahead and get into this, man. In Isaiah chapter 14, in verse, I'm going to start at verse 4, it says, That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, and say, How the, how have the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased? All right? Because this place, again, people are fi have found out that this place has not been what it's all been so bigged up to be all right the place where you know the everyone can come in and you know get an education and, and the, the the american dream you know people have been finding it that out that this it's actually been a nightmare and that's why a lot of people are, are setting up shop all right or excuse me a lot of people that have set up shop they're they're packing up shop and they're they're going back home 
All right, a lot of places they don't want nothing to do with America anymore. They 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 made their money, man. They made their struggles and they're going back home. All right, so this golden city has ceased. All right, the, the American dream is turned out to be a, a nightmare. All right, so I'm gonna just jump jump down. I'm gonna jump down to verse nine. It says, "Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming." It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? So you see, because everyone's flexing their muscle now. At one point in time, America was the only nation. Everyone feared America. No one wouldn't no one would dare touch America. You know, or you know, try to come up against America. Especially after those bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki and all those other places. All right. America that established America as the world superpower. All right. But again, everyone has the missiles now. All these weak nations, you know, um, they, they uh, or excuse me, all these weaker nations like India and Korea, North Korea just tested three, uh, three missiles this month. You know, they just tested three missiles this month, two missiles within the same week. And they just recently, uh, uh well, I think last week or a few days ago, whatever, they just tested another missile. So they just tested three three missiles this month. Just just this muscle this month alone. You know, like I said, hey, a lot of nations, man, they're they're doing backdoor deals, man. All right, I believe in India's purchasing um is purchasing um I don't know if it was an air defense system or they they basically they purchased something from uh from from Russia, all right. <laughs> you see, so I mean, you know, as far as World War Three, hey, you know. The Lord is moving all these nations, gearing them up towards World War Three, man. All right. And like I said, all these nations, they 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 got missiles now. They they got guns. You see, because the thing about it, um Let me read on down. It says, Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vowels, the worms spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. Yeah, because you know, America's pride and you know that 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 like I said, that whole American dream, all that, that, that shit is plays out, or played out, I man. It's phased out. All right, you know, like I said, it's, it's a, it's a, it turns out to be a, a nightmare. But um, reading down it says, "How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning?" And Lucifer is just going into a uh, light bearer. All right, which you know, Esau, he's a light bear, light bearer on the left hand. You see, we're light bearers on the on, on the right hand. We're Luciferians on the right hand, right? <laughs> Uh, Yahweh Shai, believe it or not, um, who, who the world calls Jesus, he was a he was a Luciferian, all right, in righteousness, you know, a Luciferian just means a light bearer. Well, Esau, he's a light bearer on the left on the left hand. It's not talking about the spiritual demon Satan, all right. It says, "How art thou cut down to the ground, which did this weaken the nations?" Because again, at one point, America was a th this was the world superpower, all right. No one would dare come up against America. All right, everyone was, was everyone was afraid of America, so on and so forth. But hey, uh, this place is weak now. All right, and that's why I read uh, what was that Isaiah forty-seven and one. All right, sitting in the dust, old virgin daughter of Babylon. All right, you know, because I often make this statement because America is also known not only is she known as Babylon, but she's known as the virgin daughter of Babylon because of a uh, virgin, you know, being uh, 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 a young woman that hasn't been touched. All right, well, hey, as far as Warfare concern. America hasn't been touched. All right. Well, hey, her cherry is about to get popped. She's about to get a Babylon the Great is about to get invaded. And you know, once these wars break out, man, America, hey, because um, going back to how these nations, man, they're performing all these war drills, right? Like China, China performed performed some some you know they performed some some war games or whatever, right? You know, um, and and, and you know basically uh, uh um, what do you call it? simulating you know certain uh, war tactics and stuff like that and they basically blew, uh, blew america to smithereens man you know america's been losing the all, all all these war games right you see um so yeah man america's uh america's this 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 place is finished this place is weak all right um I'm going to read, jump down to verse 16. It says, They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the whole, that made the earth to tremble and did shake na and shake kingdoms? All right. So this once great, mighty, powerful nation, all right, you know, um, that's, you know, uh, basically took this world by storm, man. All right. Again, you got a lot of these nations there. They're bucking up against America. 
All right, they're bunking up against Babylon the Great. Like I said, hey, America's a laughing stock. Joe Biden, he's a laughing stock. The whole, this whole whole administration is a laughing stock right now. And you see, people see that America's weak. You know, and, and that was pretty much exposed when, uh, um, you know, Biden uh, withdrew troops from from Afghanistan. You know, that pretty much let everyone know that, hey, man, these, you know, America's weak. You know, but I'm going to read verse 17. It says that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of the of the prisoner of his prisoners. Right. <laughs> but it said that made the world as a wilderness, right? <laughs> you know, because it tells you in the book of Joel how um it tells you how, in Joel how these nations instead of putting their their resources into you know building their their agriculture and, and, and you know their economies and whatnot, they're put they're they're um investing in uh um warfare you know you know uh, weapon uh, uh weapons and you know I, missiles ballistic missiles and stuff like that you know because esau has pushed his vibration on the earth um to where everyone you know everyone is is like i said gearing up towards world war three you know you know because that's all esau knows man he, he he's a he's a bloody man you know he's a he, he's a you know uh i just just talk about how he uh, uh because he loves blood 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 pursue is uh, blood is going to pursue him R roughly paraphrasing it all right because that's all esau does man you know goes to different places and, and you know conquers conquers these nations <laughs> conquers these lands right you know with his guns and his military and all that all that stuff right you know well not everyone is about guns and weapons and, and warfare you know so again because it, it said that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of his prisoners. <laughs> All right. So you see, Esau has put, pushed his vibration of warfare. Everyone wants to, you know, stack up on guns and defense systems, and you know, everyone's everyone's on, on, on focused on warfare, and that's because of Esau. All right. You know, but little does he know, hey, the same weapons that he's created, man, is going to be to his own demise. It's going to be to his own destruction. Because again, everyone has missiles now. Everyone has, you know. Everyone's flexing now, all right? So America's not the big bad bully on the block anymore. Everyone has guns, and, and hey, you know, was that Revelation 17? Everyone, all these nations are eventually going to shoot their missiles and completely destroy this place. So, um, as far as America losing its place as a world superpower, America's been, been losing its status as a world superpower, you see? And they know it, and they're afraid, all right? And everyone sees it. All right. Um, so hopefully this was edifying, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashima Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh Bashima Shai, Brakadam, to the hopefully elect Lord's will. Until next time, Shalom.